Hey, I'm Coach Colin Castell with ShotMechanics.com and welcome back to NBA Shooting Secrets. This week, it's Allen Iverson. <laughs> All right, so Allen Iverson has been one of the most explosive scorers in NBA history, um, and one reason is because he was able to knock down jump shots from all over the court in any situation. And the first reason is because he was a master at gaining separation from his defender. So the biggest thing that separates Allen Iverson from a lot of other shooters out there is his ability to shoot off separation. It's one thing if you can knock down 9 to 10 shots just catching and shooting, but can you knock down 9 to 10 getting great separation from your defender? That's what makes AI more of a scorer rather than just a straight up shooter, even though he has great mechanics. Check out on this play how he's able to stop his momentum on a dime and then gather himself into a shot before the defender can recover. This ability to change direction front to back is one of the things that makes AI so tough to stop when he's getting separation. Then you add in the fact that he's got a great handle so he's able to get separation moving side to side as well. Check out this famous crossover on Michael Jordan. He plants really hard one direction to get Michael Jordan shifting and then gets the separation going laterally. And because he can shoot off the move, he's good to go. So you're gonna wanna work on some moves that get that separation from your defender just like Allen Iverson. And if you can learn to shoot like that, it's going to transfer in the game so much better. Now, the next thing I love about Allen Iverson's mechanics is the fact that he's a one motion shooter. Now this will probably work for a lot of you guys um, because he's probably closer to your size than say guys like Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. I know we've talked about it before, but one of the things that makes Allen Iverson such an effective shooter is his one motion shot, meaning the ball never stops on its way to the basket. This is one reason why I think he's so great at shooting off a of separation, because no energy is wasted when it's transferred into his shot. Just remember to get that one motion shot, make sure that your forearm's pointing towards the ground on your release. This will keep everything moving up. I highly suggest you give it a try. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is the base or his feet on his shot. So AI was notorious for having a very narrow stance on his jump shot and it totally worked for him, so it might work for you. Feel free to give it a try. Now you probably hear all the time that coaches want your feet shoulder width apart when you shoot. They say it gives you a stable base. Now it's very true you will have a stable base, but it will probably decrease the fluidity of your jump shot. So as we watch these clips again, check out how narrow AI's feet are. On this one where he catches off of the pass, he brings his feet pretty much directly next to each other, giving him extra rhythm so he can knock down this long jumper. Again, off the dribble now, he goes with a one-two step and having the narrow feet allows him to elevate over the taller defender. Even with a separation move kind of like this under the leg step back, with his narrow feet, he's still able to get great lift on the jumper. So mess around with choosing what's comfortable for your feet. That about wraps it up. And don't forget, if you're new, you're gonna wanna do two things. Number one, hit that subscription button down below because we're doing four videos every week and I wanna get you better. Um, number two, you can either click this annotation up here or the link in the description to get a free copy of our top three favorite shooting secrets. These are shooting secrets that you can put directly into your game and probably increase your shooting percentage overnight. All right, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to tune in on Monday for our drill of the week.